Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with the next in the Hamilton Sudoku series. This is Hurricane by Alexander Hamilton. In the eye of the hurricane, he tried to find some quiet for just a moment. And as a result, have you read this? This is the Reynolds pamphlet. This is the document that he wrote after... This, the track that comes after Hurricane is the Reynolds pamphlet, and the, the track Hurricane leads to him writing this document, which is basically his political downfall. It's a very interesting moment in the show, and probably the most beautiful piece of staging I think I've ever seen in theatre. Let's hope the puzzle lives up to it. I expect it will. I have no idea who created these puzzles, um, and um, they've all been written under pseudonyms, and uh, they've all been designed to be approachable puzzles um, that I can record quite quickly. Um, and there are reasons at the moment I'm needing to do that, which most people know. Although, yeah, there's a lot going on in my life. So, um, yeah, uh, what do I want to go? Um, Yep, let's just have a look at this, shall we? Hurricane by Alexander Hamilton. What are the rules? Normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every cult, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Cells separated, we have Kropke pairs. Cells separated by a black dot must be in a one to two ratio. Cells separated by a white dot must be consecutive. And all of these aqua lines are palindromes. So um, the, the digits that are placed on them will read the same in either direction. So for example, if this is one, two, and three, um, then this would have to be one, two, whoops, one, two, three. So to match with this being one, two, three. So the line would read one, two, three, three, two, one from either direction. That's actually not legal in this puzzle, but that's the way the palindrome lines work. Um, that's what we've got to go on. Um, if you're not a fan of the musical, that's perfectly fine. Um, hopefully you can just enjoy the puzzles for being what they are. Restarted the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So I do know that this is a two or a f whoa, why is the mode wrong? This is a two or a four, because this is a run of three digits on black Kropke dots. Um, I can't use three or six um, because it would have to go three, 63 or uh, 636 and I can't use 57 or 9 because they can never go on black Kropke dots because there's no um, 1 to 2 ratio for them within the Sudoku digits so this is either going to go 124 or 248 in either direction uh, there must be 2s and 4s in here that doesn't mean that that has to be 36 although maybe it does because there has to be a 2 and a 4 in here because this is a palindrome so because there's a two and a four in here, this is two or four, then must two and four must be down here. And if two and four must be down here, this is three, six. That's really cool. Because this is all roped. Of course, this is all roped. What do I mean by roped? Okay, so those three digits, we know that those three digits reflect to there, which means whether they go in this box, they reflect onto there. Now, once we've got that, what we can tell is where do those three digits go in this box? Well, they're not yellow because yellow is those three digits and they can't go there or they'd repeat in the same row. So they are those three digits. And now where do they go in this box? They go there. And then we know that these digits are the leftover digits. Hang on, there's roping in all directions here because I've also got roping here. So... I, I'm not sure what that means. It means that this is not 3, 6. So this is from 1, 2, 4, 8. Now this can't be a 1 because then both of those would have to be a 2. These are from 1, 2, 4, 8. Two and four, and these are from 1, 2, 4, 8. This can't be 1, because it, 1 isn't consecutive with any of those. This can't be 8. 8 isn't consecutive with any of those. So this is also 2 or 4. So this is 2 or 4, which is not consecutive with 6. This is 3, this is 6. So 6 is in here, and 3 is in here. This is weird, but it does mean that this is 3 and this is 6. So this is one, two, four, or eight, because it's a palindrome of that. This is two, four, eight, and this is one, two, four, eight. 
but these have to be consecutive. So there's no eight on them and there's no four on them. This is one and two. So this is one and two. That takes two out of there, makes this four, this four. There's no four in there. And there's no two here. So this is one or eight, but there has to be a two in here for this to work. So this becomes two and this is one or eight. And I'm not sure on the order, but I've got the two and the four I need for those. And I still don't know whether these are one, two, four, eight, because that hasn't been disambiguated. This is cool. Six is down here somewhere. Now, if those, no, hang on, but this has, this can't be the six because it has to be consecutive. This is, well, this can't, this has to go one, two, three, because if this is consecutive with two, it's one or three and it's not one. This is three. So this is three. So this is the six. So this is one, two, and three because of the same thing. One, two, three can't go there or there. This is basically roping again. Six is now down here. Oh, this is weird. This is one, two, three. And those are the same digit, which means they have to go up there. There's no one here. This is weird. There's no two here. This is a four. So this is a four and there's no one on this line. This is two, eight. So this is two, four, eight, which means this is eight and there's no four here. This, no, no four. This is two, eight. Right. That is cool. Oh, this is nifty. Now, this is one or three, and it's not three because of that. So this is one. This is a two because it is the palindrome of that. This is now one or four in order to be in a one to two relationship with that. This can't be have one or two on it. So it's three, six in a particular order. It's either three, uh, it's three, six or four, eight. This is one, two or three. And it can't be one because this is one, right. Let's look at this a, a clearer way. This is one, two or three. If this is one, this is two and that doesn't work. So it's not one. It's not two because there's a two in the box. This is three, this is six. Three here means this is three and there's no three here. That not being a three means that's not a three. This is a one, two pair. This is cool. So this is still one or four. I get the feeling if this is a four, I've got a problem. Because if this is a four, how do I fill those consecutive dots? Because I need an even on each of them. So there has to be a four and an eight on those. So each consecutive dot must have an even and an odd. Two and six are gone. So I have to have four on one of them and eight on the other. So that's a one. Can't put four there. So this is four and it can't be with three. So this is four, five because the three is gone. This must have eight on it. So these are from seven, eight, nine. So this is from seven, eight, nine. And this can't be eight. So this can't be eight. This is the odd. Therefore, that is the even. Oh, this is beautiful. This has to be even now. This is nine, this is eight, and it can't be because it would conflict in the row. This is seven, this is six. And that matches up for the six needing to be in green, which means six is in one of those two. Three is in white, so three is in one of those two. And three can't be there. If three is here, where does three go in box four? Three would go in one of those two, which would reflect it down to there and cause a conflict. That's a three. That's a three. Oh, this is nice. There's probably better ways through this puzzle, but I'm loving what I'm finding. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, one, five, and nine. One, five, and nine. So three and seven are up here. So this is a three, and there must be a seven in one of those two. And there must be a seven in one of those two. I can't put a one here. So this is a five or a nine. So where do I look now? This is a seven or a nine because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. So this is seven or nine. 
Oh, that seven is telling me the order. That's the seven, that's the nine. The seven looks up, meaning that's not the seven. This is the seven. So this is the seven, and this is not a, not the seven. If you look at this moment in the stage play, people come on stage at the start of... It starts with Hamilton doing a, basically a monologue in the middle. Then all of the ensemble and cast come on, and they basically pick up furniture and stuff. There's a table being carried like it's a coffin. And all sorts of stuff is being done. Stairs get ha uh, Chairs get handed up into the balconies and everything, and everyone is moving slow motion as if they're being caught in the wind while the lights carry it around with this like aqua theme that this puzzle has. And it it is a beautiful slow motion moment of just wonderful staging and the way these digits are spinning this is very evocative of what i come have come to love about this piece so this is a four or a five by palindrome sorry this is just carrying me away this is beautiful this is one five and nine to carry the same as this and we know there's no one here so what is this quadruple one, two, three, four, five. There's a seven down here. That's what that's telling me. It's one, five, seven, nine. So this is five, seven, nine, because I can't put one down here, which matches the one being locked up here. That's fair. So whatever is in there has to be in here. I'm not sure. There'll be something obvious I am missing. I, pr I think I want to get rid of this roping at the top now. There's something, this is five, seven, or nine to match that. Can I do the same sort of trick? Like if this is seven, no. These are seven, that's all okay. If this is seven, it puts seven there, which would put seven there. I think that's okay. It would put seven there, which would put seven there. Seven is in one of those two. Maybe it's this. This can't be one, two, three. It could be four, five, eight, or nine only. I've got to put an eight in one of those two, but that's not it. What is the simple thing I am missing? This is one, five, or nine, I think. Two, three, four... So it sees one, two, three, four, five. It sees six, seven, eight. What, it, this is five or nine. So this is a quadruple. One, five, six, and nine. This can't be one or six. So this is a five, nine pair. So five, nine comes out of there. This is a one, six pair, which takes one out of there, which means this is a one. So this is not a one. This is a one. This one makes this six and this one. And these are all the same digit. I am going to get rid of the coloring right now. I might do more coloring later. Five nine comes out of that because I've got a five nine pair looking down. So five nine comes out of there. This is four or eight. So what are these? These are two, four, and eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they're two, four, and eight, which means it's four, eight, because it can't be two. That's a four, eight pair. So this is two, this is two, this is eight, this is eight. Where does four go in this column? Because I need to put a four in this column and I can't put it there because of the four pair here. This is the four, this is the five, this is the four, this is the eight, this is the four, this is the four. This is glorious. These can't be five anymore because of that five. This is a pair now. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, and nine. Where is six in this row? This is the only place for it. This is six, this is seven, and this is five, seven, or nine. It can't be eight anymore. This is the eight, and this is five, seven, or nine. These are five, seven, and nine, which means this is odd, so this has to be even, and it can't be two or four, so it's six or eight. And it can't be eight. This is six, which means this is not nine.
These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, eight, and nine. So eight is in one of those two. I don't think that's what I'm looking at. But this is six because of the palindrome. This is five or seven. So what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, five, and nine. What am I missing? Maybe I am going to write a Reynolds pamphlet of my own. I'm missing a 579 triple here. So this is a 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is a 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's an 8 in one of those two. So these are 5, 8, and 9. There's no 5 there. There's no 9 there. There'll be just that little thing that I that is keeping me from solving this. Like that one looking down, making that two, that one, that two. That's done not much. Not that I can see. I've got to put a four in one of those two. Where is four in this column? It's not there, it's not there, and it's not there. So this is a four. This is a five, a seven, or a nine. It's not a five. This is giving me a seven, nine pair. So this is the eight. This is the five. This is the nine. This is the seven. This is the seven. I take seven out of both of those. In fact, seven could never have gone there because of the seven pencil mark I had earlier. But I forgot it. Now, the 7 looks back making this 9, which makes this 5, which makes this 7, which makes this 7. Takes 7 out of there. Uh, the 9 looks up making this 5, this 9, which looks across making this 5, this 9, this 5, this 9. Now, more please. That 5 looks down making this 9, this 5, this 9, this 5. This row is missing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is an 8. This box is missing a 1. There is no five or eight down here. So this becomes the nine. This becomes the five. This becomes the eight. And hey, my grid is pretty great. That is Hurricane by Alexander Hamilton. That was really, really cool. I solved my way out. That was a lot of fun. Thank you, everyone, um, for who was involved in the creation of these. Hopefully, everyone is enjoying the puzzles. Hopefully, everyone is enjoying the channel. Um, there is going to be, as I said, it'll probably a week, maybe a week and a half of these coming. Just think of it as a puzzle pack in video form. And as I said, if you don't like the theme, just do the puzzles. The puzzles will be fine. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.